Hello and welcome back. I'm going to show you a few uses for ribs in shaping part of the last step of the process. Now here we have a cylinder and as a review the three basic shapes are a cylinder, bowl, and a plate. So this is the first one you want to learn. Once you have it all set and you've trimmed it down, you have a few tools here. We have a flexible rib and this is a metal rib. We have a wooden uh, rib that is uh, sturdy um, and then we also have a textured rib and there's hundreds of var uh, varieties of these. Here's just a few. But let's say we wanted to have a smooth, we don't like these rings right here. The first thing we can do is, make sure we dip this in water, we can make everything smooth. You can go up just like this. We can make a foot on here with these as well. Just like this. Sponge that on. You can also make a mark right here with the rib and dent it a little bit so we make it a little bit round. Another thing we can do is impress this in. See how that shape right there? We're going to impress that in to the cup. So we have a little bit of an indent right there. Kind of like a coffee mug or a beer mug. And then we have the flexible rib right here. We'll start with this one. And what you can do is create your own shapes with this by bending it. You can see how I'm bending the bottom, and then we can pull it, and then we can invert it and go to the top. And it makes it look perfectly smooth. Some people like texture on there, some people like it to be really smooth. There's no rules with this. You can also invert it like this, like we did the the wooden one, and it goes reverse. At this point, the wheel should be really slow. Just like that. And then I'm going to show you the textured one. And then we're going to cut this open. So, you can do with textures, this is one with a lot of teeth on it, you simply can just go like that, and you've got that texture right there. Or, you can slow the wheel down, and then go up and down. You can use any tool like this too. See, now we have that, and you can do it a little slower. like that. It has a lot of texture on there and you can use any tool to get any texture like that. All right, let's see how we did. Let's cut this open. And what we're looking for for the cylinder here is quarter inch walls, a little bit more compressed right here so it should be a little thicker and a little thicker down there in case we wanted to uh, trim it. So we'll cut this open. Take a look at this. This is what we're looking for here. Quarter inch right here. Get that water out there. Just about a quarter inch right over here, and a little bit compressed rim right there, so it's uh, so it won't uh, crack. But that's what you're looking for. If you are looking to practice cylinders and get better and better, I suggest you take ten balls of the same weight, make. Uh, 10 cylinders that are about 5 to 6 inches tall, 4 to 5 inches in diameter, and straight up and down like this, and then cut them open to see if you can get these walls looking like this. All right, have a great day. Thank you.